Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to add two more things to our repertoire of items that we can use. The first is one of these here push buttons. And the second is a programming technique known as state change. So, let's get started and hook this up. The button has four legs, two that are far apart, two that are close together. I'm going to put it in here across the, the great divide as I call it. And here is a trick to make sure you always hook up your push button correctly. Only hook up opposite corners. Now we're going to use the internal pull-up resistors of the Arduino Uno so we don't need any resistors on the button. So all we have to do is connect one side of the button to ground and the other side of the button in this case to digital pin 2. Alright, see how I've hooked that up on opposite corners? If you hook your, if you hook your buttons up on opposite corners, you'll never go wrong. So we're going to use an LED. By now you guys should know how to hook up your LED. 220 ohm resistor. Between the cathode, the short leg, and ground. And we will hook up to pin number 13 or if you like you can just use the built-in LED in your Uno. The other thing is we need a ground reference because when dealing with electronics you've always got to have a ground. So there's our ground, there's our complete hookup. Now what we're going to do is we're going to program this so that every time you click the button and release it, the light goes on or off. If it's off, click and release, it will go on. If it's on, click and release, and it will go off. Let's go take a look at the programming for that. All right, let's get started with the programming for our state change button press and LED. So we're gonna start off here by declaring two constants. Remember, constants are items that don't change. Our button pin is on pin number 2, and our LED pin is pin number 13. Next, we are going to have integers. These are variables. They will change. The first one is an integer called button state, and we're going to begin by setting it as 0. Next is last button state also set to zero and button push counter also set to zero next up is our setup and we're going to initialize the button as an input so we say pin mode button pin and here's our new thing for this video input pull up okay that means we're using the internal resistor on the Atmel ATmega 328P as a pull-up resistor so we don't need to add one. Next we're going to set our LED for output. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read the button. So we say button state equals digital read button pin. And next we are going to compare it. So we say if button state bang equal last button state and bang equal means is different so if button state is different from last button state that means it has changed we're going to increment the counter and we're going to say if button state is low the button went on so we increment the counter then we add a slight delay to avoid bouncing. 
Bouncing is where when you press a button, it can float back and forth a few times and give you multiple pushes. We don't want that. So the next thing we do is we save our current button state as last button state. So it remembers where we were. And then we're going to turn on the LED every other time. Now I'm sure there's multiple ways to do this, but this is just the way I'm going to show you to do it using modulo, which is pretty simple. So we're going to say if button push counter modulo 2 equals 0, that means every other time we're going to turn the LED on. And if it doesn't, we turn the LED off. Pretty simple, right? All right, let's send this out to the Arduino and have a look at it. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, guys, here we are with everything hooked up and in its proper place. And now every time we push a button, the light turns on or off. And that is what is called state change. It's really useful, like I said, so you don't have to be pulling the button all the time. And if you want something to turn on and stay on, another term for this might be a latching button. But that's really all there is to it. And if you like this, please like, comment, share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for?